Hello and welcome to today's video presentation on using DNF on Oracle Linux 8. In this video, we will cover the DNF package manager, several of its useful commands for installing and updating packages. So let's get started. DNF, which is short for Dandified Yum, is the next generation package manager for RPM-based Linux distributions. Initially introduced in Fedora 18 back in 2013, DNF was developed as a replacement for Yum and became the default package manager in Oracle Linux 8. DNF retains backwards compatibility with Yum and both commands symbolically link to the slash user slash bin slash DNF-3 binary. DNF intends to resolve perceived deficiencies of Yum, which include poor performance, high memory usage, and the slowness of its iterative dependency resolution. To address the external dependency issue, DNF uses the libsolve library as its resolver. Like YUM, DNF performs package management tasks on top of RPM and supporting libraries. Meanwhile, PackageKit, which is a distribution agnostic software install and update tool, incorporates DNF using the libdnf library. Now that we understand the purpose of DNF, let us show some practical examples. We will use a non-graphical console in our example. However, you can also perform the same commands in a graphical terminal of your choice. The DNF command further requires elevated permissions when executed and therefore requires the use of sudo or the root account when executing DNF commands. For the remainder of these examples, we will run in an elevated shell by typing sudo space minus i. Like yum, the DNF command has many options available. You can get a full list of these commands by typing dnf space pipe space less to display them in a console or terminal. One of the first things you will likely want to do is install a package from a repository. Using dnf space install space tmux, we will install the tmux package, which is a terminal multiplexer. You will be prompted for confirmation after dnf confirms the packages to install. Enter Y for yes to proceed, and then the tmux package and any other dependencies will install successfully. If you want to avoid having to reply to the prompt, specify the dash Y option as in dnf space install space wget space dash Y to install the wget package. Another action you will perform is to check if there are available updates for packages installed on your system. Type dnf space check dash update to display the updates available for your installed packages. If you only wish to update a single package, specify the update option followed by the package name as in dnf space update space bin utils dash y. While that command will only update the bin utils package, it is more common to update all packages using dnf space update space dash y and not pass a package name. If we wanted to download a package rather than installing it, we could run the command dnf space download space ninjix. This command will download the ninjix web server and reverse proxy package only. When using the download option, dnf requires the dnf dash plugins dash core package which gets installed on Oracle Linux 8 as part of a minimal install. If it is missing, you could install the plugin using dnf space install space dnf dash plugins dash core and try the download option again. The download option provides an RPM file. You can install RPM files using the RPM command, but you can also install them using dnf. The added benefit of using DNF is that DNF will automatically detect and install any additional package dependencies that may be required. Type DNF space install and the name of the Ninjix RPM file. The Ninjix RPM will install from the file located on your file system, while the required dependencies will be retrieved from the repository. Now that we have added a few packages, what if we want to remove them? Remove the Ninjix package by typing DNF space remove space Ninjix. This command will remove the Ninjix package and any dependencies associated with the Ninjix package. When using the remove option, the recommendation is to avoid using the dash Y option so you can review what packages DNF will remove before proceeding. A quick review will ensure you get the desired results. 
If a package is having issues, use dnf space reinstall space ninjix space dash y to easily reinstall it. This option would be the same as performing a dnf space remove followed by a dnf space install. The critical difference with using reinstall is that DNF will keep any custom configuration of files associated with that package. Now that we have covered the install, update, and removal of packages, we can discuss where these packages are delivered. Oracle Linux 8 ships at the time of this recording with two repositories configured in a directory located at slash etsy slash yum dot repos dot d. Type DNF space repo list or DNF space repo info to see the details of these repositories. These commands will only show the enabled repositories by default. You can show any disabled repositories by typing DNF space repo list space all. Based on your system use case, you might want to add additional repositories. To accomplish this task, you could create a new dot repo file in slash etsy slash yum dot repos dot d. However, it is easier to add the repository or repo using dnf space config dash manager space dash dash add dash repo equals in the URL of your repo. If the repository has an RPM install file, then the repo can also be added using dnf space install space in the URL of the RPM file. A repo I have personally used with my demo Oracle Linux 8 systems is the upstream Fedora 8 EPO repository. This repository is not supported or maintained by Oracle and is only mentioned here as a, as a convenience. Type dnf space install space the URL to the repository which is https forward slash forward slash dl.fedoraproject.org slash pub slash EPO slash epol dash release dash latest dash eight dot no arch dot rpm. This will add the repository for the demo purposes only. Once the repo gets added to the system, I recommend setting the default status to disabled using dnf space config dash manager space dash dash set dash disabled space repository name, which in this case is epol. If you did not know the repo name was epol, you can get the details from dnf space repo list. If you want to install a package from a disabled repository, use the dash dash enable repo equals repo name option as in dnf space dash dash enable repo equals epol space install space htop. When installing from the epol repository for the first time, dnf will display a prompt with its gpg key, which you will need to accept by typing y. Now that we have talked about repositories, let's search for some packages. If we don't know the exact name of a package, DNF provides a search option. Typing DNF space search space PHP, for example, will list packages that have keyword PHP in the package name. If we need to determine which package provides a specific Linux command, we can type DNF space provides space asterisk forward slash sudo, for example, to show the packages that supply the sudo command. We can also provide a fully qualified configuration file path to see which packages apply the file by typing dnf space provides space the path name. And as an example, we use slash etsy slash sudo dot conf. Using the info option, as in typing dnf info sudo, gets detailed information such as the architecture, version, release, total size, and description of what the package does. DNF also lets us query package information related to the local system. Use DNF space list space installed shows a list of packages installed on your host. Using DNF space list space installed space pipe space grep space ninjix can limit our query to a specific package, ninjix in this case, and help determine if it's installed. Typing dnf space list space available space pipe space wc space dash l shows there are over 8,000 packages available from the enabled repositories. Using dnf space list space all shows the results for both
packages installed locally, and packages available in the repositories. Lastly, DNF space list space updates displays a list of those packages with updates available, similar to the previously mentioned command DNF space check dash update. Now that we have learned a way to look up packages and information about a package, let us look at our DNF history to this point. The DNF space history command contains all the actions performed by the DNF command and allows us to see what has occurred related to package management on the Linux system. The DNF space history allows for undo, redo, or even a rollback of a specific DNF transaction. To see all of our transactions, type DNF space history. To get information related to one of the transactions, type DNF space history space info space in the transaction ID. Using the Ninjix transaction as an example, we can remove Ninjix by typing DNF space history space undo space the transaction ID space minus Y. If we type DNF space history space redo space transaction ID space minus Y, we will reinstall Ninjix. Besides just the DNF history option, DNF logs package installation, updates, and removals in the slash var slash log slash DNF log file. To aid with the performance of DNF queries from the internet, DNF caches data in slash var slash cache slash DNF. There are times that this cache data may become stale and cause problems when installing packages. To fix this problem, you can remove all the cached items by typing DNF space clean space all. The DNF command will automatically rebuild this cache over time as you perform various queries. However, you can manually create the cache by typing time space DNF space make cache. DNF further allows for the install, update, or removal of package groups. These groups are a group of dependent packages that serve a common purpose. For example, we need to install a graphical desktop on a minimal console only install. Use DNF space group space list to get the group names. Type DNF space group info quote server with GUI quote to show the group consists of other groups. Run DNF space group info on one of those smaller groups shows the individual packages. Finally, type DNF space group space install space quote server with GUI quote to install the group. Just like updating or deleting a single package, use the appropriate group options to perform the same actions on only the group. DNF space group space update space group name handles the update, while DNF space group space remove space group name handles the removal. Patching is a routine task for system administrators. Although routine, issues or concerns can arise that call us to use additional features of DNF. When updating a system, we might want to update all the packages except one. We can optionally exclude a specific package from the update, install, or removal with the dash X option. To show this, perform a DNF space check dash update to confirm a kernel update is available. Use DNF space update dash X space kernel to exclude the kernel package while updating the remaining packages. Administrators face another potential concern when managing the update of multiple machines all at the same time. Due to resource constraints or performance factors, administrators may find it necessary to stagger the installs. First, you will need to install dnf-automatic by typing dnf space install space dnf automatic space dash y. This tool helps automate the randomization of patching tasks such as when regularly updating via cron jobs. The default random sleep is 300 seconds, which is the maximum delay before starting the download and install of packages. You can adjust the value by adding random underscore sleep into the file slash etsy slash dnf slash automatic dot com. DNF even lets an administrator limit the type of packages updated based on a set of categories. While DNF space update updates all packages, DNF space update info space list space SEC will only install security updates. 
The previously mentioned DNF-automatic package can automate this same task by changing update underscore type from default to security in the file slash etsy slash dnf slash automatic.conf. Finally, DNF can hide all output when a command is issued or provide more verbose information. To hide all output, use the dash Q option like DNF space install space ninjix space dash Y space dash Q. To provide verbose output, use the dash V option like DNF space remove space ninjix dash Y dash V. In this video, we covered many of the useful DNF options that system administrators can use to manage packages and groups on Oracle Linux 8. Additional details on DNF is available in the Oracle Linux 8 documentation. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. To find additional resources on Oracle Linux, please check out our Oracle Linux curriculum at education.oracle.com slash Linux, our Oracle Cloud Infrastructure at cloud.oracle.com, and additional training on Oracle Linux and cloud infrastructure at the URL provided.